So the reason why I cut that dorsal fin off like that, two reasons. One, it opens up this top for me to get that skin peeled back pretty good. And there's a bone that goes right on side of it. So if you notice how I come right down that back and I cut that feet like right down to that, that, that uh, rib chest, that rib shelf, it removes that bone from right there so I can get that knife as close to the spine as possible. Those are the two reasons why I removed that dorsal fin in the manner in which I did. I ain't gotta nail no fish to no tree. You know, you see the old folks do that back in the day. I've never done that. That method, that technique has always been pointless to me. This is how I was shown how to do it. Now, maybe when I get to be an old man, I might do that, but it ain't gonna happen in this lifetime. At least, no time soon. Simple as that. And that's no stab at you if you do. Again, there's more than one way to skin a cat. This is how I skin a cat. Right here, when that dorsal fin come off, I can stay real close to that to that spine right there. Get right close to that spine, get that meat off. right up to that rib cage, bring that knife right up there by that spine, get real close to it, just like that. Get as much of that meat as I can. Come right back to it. You can feel that rib bone usually back there. If you start right around the anus, and just bring your knife up around the rib shelf, the top of the shelf of that rib. Get your real nice feeling off of that fish. Boom, just like that. That blood, don't worry about it, y'all see. Oh man, he forgot to spray his table. No, I didn't. Just figured I killed two birds with one stone this time. Let's see, I got my holes fixed now. Why you do that, country? Cuz I don't want no fluids on my meat. That's why I got water over here. That blood gonna come all out, I promise you. But I don't want no accidental fluids like that bile. I bust that uh, gallbladder and that bile got all over the table. Spray all that stuff off. You don't want that bile on your meat. That's gonna make your meat taste like I'm talking about. Whew, gross, you hear me? It's gonna make that meat taste gross. You don't want that. You want your catfish to be clean. You don't want that catfish you going around somebody telling you your catfish tastes like mud. You don't want that. You don't want that. Oh no. See that, that's a bone right there. Inside of that, that's a bone. I take that bone out. That way I ain't gotta worry about my knife getting dull. And I can get right close. I can get right close to that doggone spinal cord. Look how sharp that knife is. It's like a razor, bro. That's handmade. That's a Jay Woods special right there. By the way, Jay Woods is my uncle. That son gun taught me most of what I know. And then, you know, my dad pitched in. Lord rest his soul. But that Jay Woods, 
That's on the net. I promise you. Get you a good, nice pool. You use to get all that skin off at one time. You ain't got to. Look at that. All that skin come off at one time. Boom. Yeah, that fish ready to feed. Here in a second, I got to go and take an admission. I got to go wake my boys up for school. Right on top of that rib bone. That top shelf right there. Bring that right on back behind that last rib. If you angle it correctly, you get right behind the anus. Get your beautiful filet come off there. Beautiful filet. Yeah. That's what you want right there. Beautiful catfish filet. I tell you what. You don't want no dull knife trying to do this. Y'all wonder what that fist mesh solution doing right there. That's, that's for fine tuning. See, right now I'm getting, it's like cutting hair. You want to get the bulk going first. I missed some of that bone. I missed some of that bone. I felt it. Yeah, I did. That's okay. Human, we ain't always perfect. At least I'm not. I mean, I don't know about y'all. I guess I am perfect. That's the way God created me, right? In his image, I guess I am perfect. If you look at it in that sense. Cleaning fish. Again, that's the way I learned. Forever gonna be featured. All in one shot, baby. All in one shot. Now, I know I just been feeling it, man. I ain't talking much about it. You want to get your knife flat on that bone, man, and run that knife right on up that fish. Of that bone behind again. Yes, I did. And you're gonna feel it. So when you feel it, go and correct yourself. Hey, she awake. She awake. She is awake. Be mindful, you're on camera.
she's been out already too. Bro. Caught her level. Tony took two home. Brought nine home. Say again. Okay, okay. I got a plan. Oh, shit. Don't reach across here. Some told me to come I'll take that. Go ahead and go. It wasn't locked when I came home. It wasn't? Top and bottom was unlocked. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Sorry, I was just letting you know. Yeah. Hey, did you wake them up? All right, I'm about to go get them. I tell you what, my intermission will be when I finish skinning these last two. Then I'll go wake the kids up. I ain't usually in no rush, but it don't take me long to get these things taken care of at all. Handmade knife, like I said, Jay Woods special, man. Shout out to Jay Woods. Get him to make me a few more. I would love to have one of his fillet knives. That rib bone, right out of that, right out of it. Last one, people. And 
you may think that it's hard the first time you do it, and it's going to be. If you've never done it before, it's going to be hard. I've done this. I've been doing this for years. I've been doing this for years. Like I said, when you have your personal preference of how you've been doing things your whole life, and that's how you learn how to do it, and that's what you stick to if that's what works for you. But don't ever be afraid to try something new. For instance, I've watched guys fillet these catfish with the skin on, flip them over, and then take the meat out the skin. Too slippery for me. Personally, too slippery for me. I do it from time to time when I'm in a rush, especially on a smaller catfish, I do it. But on a big fish, too slippery, too much. Nah, I ain't got time for that. Not for me. Don't work for me. But, uh, you know, I got a buddy. He does his like that, and he's very efficient with it. Ah. Didn't get good with hack on that one as I would have liked to. Like I've watched a guy stick uh, air holes in his fish, blow the skin off of him, or blow the skin up like a balloon on him, and the skin peel right off. I tried that too. Didn't work as well for me as it did for him. My fish just seemed to bubble up and maybe my, my compressor ain't big enough or wasn't big enough. 